Hello, UIC fans, and welcome to another edition of the Flames Weekly Update. I'm Sam Paniotovic. The men's soccer team held off 25th-ranked Valparaiso to collect a 1-0 shutout victory Wednesday night at Flames Field. Joel Salmaron scored his first goal of the season in the sixth minute off an assist by Jorge Alvarez. Goalkeeper Andrew Putna matched his career high with seven saves in the victory and picked up his fourth shutout of the season. UIC came up short in its home match against Detroit Saturday as the Titans tied the game in the second half, scored the winning goal six minutes into overtime for a 2-1 win. Alvarez scored his fourth goal of the year in the 33rd minute. UIC created many scoring chances in the second half and took five shots on goal from Salmaron, Alvarez, Peter Legowski, and Jesus Torres. The Flames will take a break from Horizon League competition and head to Colorado to challenge Denver on Friday. The volleyball team's weekend was highlighted by senior Maggie Struess breaking Carolyn Fisk's program record with 1,533 career digs. Struess had 15 digs in Friday's match with Cleveland State and 16 more against Youngstown State Saturday to take sole possession of first place. The Flames dropped both home matches over the weekend in four sets. Stephanie Yancey put down 36 kills and recorded 10 total blocks while Nicole Johnson dished out 87 assists. Both Yancey and Johnson rank in the nation's top 10 in their respective statistical categories. UIC continues Horizon League action on the road next weekend when the Flames play at Wright State Friday and Oakland on Saturday. The women's soccer team dropped the 1-0 overtime decision against Detroit on Saturday in the Flames' first ever home Horizon League match. Alyssa Riley's game winner was the first goal allowed by UIC in 220 minutes of play, dating back to the Milwaukee match on September 24th. The Flames had a scoring chance in overtime when Emily Wauer took a shot near the top of the box in the 95th minute, but the ball sailed high and just to the left, missing the top of the Titans' goal. Olivia Everin led the Flames with three shots, while Mackenzie Fuller and Flo Bashiri also took shots for UIC. The Flames continue Horizon League action at home Wednesday as they play host to Valparaiso at Flames Field. Tess Earhart and Alex Bushkawi were named the Horizon League Female and Male Runners of the Week on Monday following their performances at the College of DuPage Invite. Earhart and Bashkawi won their respective races as the men's and women's squads finished in first place as a team. Earhart took home the top spot amongst 203 runners in the 5K race, crossing the finish line 40 seconds ahead of the next competitor. Earhart garnered the weekly award for the second time this season and for the fifth time in her career. Bashkawi earned first place in the men's 8K race, outperforming 188 competitors in only the third meet of his collegiate career. The Flames return to action Saturday for the Parkside Invitational in Kenosha, Wisconsin. The swimming and diving programs held the annual Blue vs. Red intra-squad meet at the Flames Natatorium Friday night. The Flames enter their 34th season of competition with a new coaching staff. Tim Leftler will lead the Flames in his first season as head coach, and Mike Tubb joins the program as an assistant coach. The two new coaches join head diving coach Susan Bromberg, who starts her seventh year at UIC. The Flames open their regular season on the road Saturday as they travel to Wright State. Stay tuned to UICflames.com every Monday for the Flames Weekly Update, and make sure to check out the Flames official Twitter and Facebook pages for all the latest news and results from UIC Athletics. I'm Sam Paniotovich, and as always, Go Flames!